First of all, thank you very much, Mayor Coleman, uh, for such a nice introduction to uh, President Rogers, to the other officers of the National League of Cities, and to the still relatively new CEO uh, of the National League of Cities, Clarence Anthony. We want to welcome you, uh, Clarence, to our uh, great city. Uh, we are delighted to have you, and we want to welcome you to the uh, great state of New Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> It is, it is kind of ironic, isn't it, to have to have our budget uh, approved by the Congress of the United States. There is a rumor that they may be passing one uh, for the first time in several years for the, for the uh, United States of America at some point. <laughs> we, uh, we hope that you enjoy the city uh, while you're here. Uh, we think we are a great city and we really are on the uh, grow. Uh, you mentioned, uh, Mayor Coleman, the uh, fiscal stability issues, and we really are proud uh, of where we are at this stage. I've now been in office for uh, two years, and a little over, a little over two years and two months, and one of the things that we worked hard on is bringing fiscal stability uh, to our city and bringing fiscal prosperity. <clears throat> we just got our audit uh, for the past year uh, about five weeks ago, and we were really proud that the city uh, has managed itself into a $417 million surplus uh, for the District of Columbia. That, that builds on, uh, after my first year, we had a $249 million surplus. And now we have a fund balance of which we are very proud. We were in Wall Street just two weeks ago to be able to talk with the rating agencies about where we are. And we now have a fund balance in the District of Columbia of $1.5 billion. Uh, so we are, we are on the grow. And isn't it wonderful, by the way, to see this young man who sang the national anthem, to see what our young kids are doing in such constructive ways. We are, we are working hard to build on uh, education, public education in our city. We now probably have one of the most robust charter movements uh, in the nation. 57% uh, of our kids are in traditional uh, public schools. We now have 43% or almost 35,000 kids in charter schools, creating a competitive environment for public education, which we think will redound to the benefit uh, of all of our children and families here in the city. One of the things I'm especially proud of, when I listened to the State of the Union uh, speech uh, just a few weeks ago, the President talked about early childhood education and his aspirations for that. Well, in point of fact, uh, when I was on the Council, I was the Chair of the Council of the District of Columbia, we were able to pass legislation um, that created a commitment to universal pre-kindergarten. And we now have in the District of Columbia a seat in public education, a charter school, uh, a child care center, or one of our uh, uh, char uh, traditional public schools, a seat for every three and four year old in the District of Columbia so that we are now starting school, not preschool, we are starting school at age three years of age for our children uh, in this city. We're also, we want you to feel uh, especially safe while you're in the city. Uh, we believe we are. Uh, we have an outstanding uh, police force led by an outstanding chief, Kathy Lanier. Uh, we had, for the first time uh, in, in uh, 51 years, we had fewer homicides than 100. We had 88 homicides uh, in the city uh, last uh, year, and we're hoping to continue to bring that down. It is a very different city than some people may remember uh, from 20 years ago. And we also are getting people back to work. Uh, we have gotten, we have created 28,000 new jobs in the last two years. And in the course of it, frankly, we've lost 4,000 public jobs, which I know is a part of uh, the work that you all will do this week, and that is trying to stem the tide of sequestration. I bet you sequestration was a word that most of us didn't even use two years ago. Now it just rolls right off of our lips as we look at, uh, you know, we look at the shrinkage of our federal government. But in the course of it, I think we all recognize, too, uh, that we are challenged to be able to create new economies, and that is precisely what we're doing. Last, uh, this past weekend, I spent uh, 36 hours uh, in Austin, Texas, a wonderful city. Yeah. 
All right. <laughs> and for those of you who've never been, you ought to next year try to go to South uh, by Southwest, the uh, technology film, uh, the technology film and music festival. I focused on technology. We had 25,000 people who were there just for that. And it is a great way of continuing to expand and develop your economy and especially ours in the District of Columbia. And then there's the issue of sustainability. I am really proud that just three weeks ago, we launched our new sustainability plan in the city. The uh, goal is to create the greenest, uh, healthiest, most livable city that we can possibly have uh, in the U.S. And I challenge the rest of us to do the same thing. We're walking, working on our waterways. We're bringing streetcars back to the District of Columbia uh, this year, which will be a wonderfully uh, livable, sustainable, clean form of transportation. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got to get people out of automobiles on the trajectory that, trajectory that we're on now. Our city and probably yours will grow tremendously over the next 20 years, and it's not sustainable if we have to do it with automobiles. We got to get people walking. We got to get people on mass transit. We got to get people using other methods of getting around our cities, because that is the only way we will survive. It is the only way our planet will survive. Enjoy your week. If I sound enthusiastic, it is because I am. And I hope you too are enthusiastic about your cities, your counties, and I hope you will support the District of Columbia in our quest to be able to be free, to be able to do the same things that you do, like approving a budget, approving our laws, and one day, ladies and gentlemen, to become the 51st state of the United States of America. Thank you all very much.